Can you show us how it's done? Rest, day, rest, day, day, day. Day, rest, day, rest, day, day, day. Then there's a big hole rest and you go, day, rest, day, rest, rest. Day, 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 day. Day, rest, day, rest, day, 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 day. Finish with a DJ on end. The children are very excited, and the adults, because this isn't just a project for the children. It's every child in the school who will receive an instrument, a stringed instrument, and, uh, and every adult will learn alongside them as well. Everything we're doing is to serve the purpose of bringing, um, bringing these young people together and then, over time, feel really united as a Belle Isle community. One thing I love about In Harmony is that we don't stream the students, we don't audition them. Every child that comes to the school has an opportunity to engage with, with music, to learn an instrument. And, and I love that, I think it's so exciting because I don't think music is just for the musical children. I think it can have a really positive impact on any of them. What's really nice is that you kind of get to share a bit of a different relationship with the children so you know I'm kind of whispering to them and asking what note am I supposed to be playing now and they love that they really like that they can give something back to me. The staff at Wimble have been amazing at getting involved no matter how silly the song that we're singing they really take part with gusto and that's really made an incredible difference to how the young people view singing and that it's cool to take part and even the adults kind of want to get involved with singing the song that's been really really inspiring. <laughs> makes me feel excited because I've always wanted to be in a choir of little people, of a small group of people. <laughs> I'm very proud of our children and their achievements because everybody wants to hear these young musicians, you know, it's, they're no longer school children doing a production, they are young musicians. It's this combination of, of working together for this co common goal and that we can, we can then share the product of all this work. We're seeing our current um, children at the top end of Key Stage 2 who have grown with this just being so confident, so well organised, so mature, so happy to take part and, and also the softer skills of cooperation with each other, working together, listening to each other. Uh, are very apparent now, and not only in the music sessions, of course, but in other areas of school life. This sort of activity makes a massive difference to young people's ability to learn, to achieve, to raise their self-esteem, aspiration, um, and this is a, a, such a strong message that we need to get across. I feel proud about myself because um I don't give up on everything I do and I'm confident in what everything I do. It's about raising confidence, raising aspiration, raising participation and that's a, a, on an individual level but it's also at a community level and really bringing back enormous pride in the community and really um, giving young people with their parents, with their families, an opportunity to get that out there and say, look at what we can do and we can do it well and we can be the best.
So I think the In Harmony um, program, however, has really enabled us to be embedded in a community over a very long period of time to see uh, young people getting you know, under the skin of either learning an instrument, learning to sing, discovering that they've got abilities they may never have had before and they've got abilities to make their parents very proud of what they do. And I think that's one of the most thrilling things. I hope um, we'll be going and knocking on the doors of the Department for Education with the evidence in our, in our bags and just say, look, this works, help us to do more so more young people across the whole of the city can benefit from the extraordinary achievements we've made so far. It's something that, you know, that hopefully if they have studied and we've given them a really good basis, even if they go away from it, they'll really, music will be theirs. I, I meet some people and they go, ah, music, I don't know. But these guys, they'll know all the words, they won't be afraid to go into concert halls. You know, they won't come, come up and be the person coming up to me going, what's that? They'll know what a cello is. Mm -hmm.